Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine the molecular geometry of XCN molecule. It has a chemical name of hydrogen cyanide and to understand its molecular geometry we are first going to look at its Lewis structure. So this is the Lewis structure of HCN in which carbon atom is in the center and it forms a triple bond with nitrogen atom and a single bond with hydrogen atom. There is a lone pair of electrons but that is on a nitrogen atom and not on central atom. Generally when uh, there is a lone pair of electron on the central atom according to VSCPR theories there is a repulsion force between those kind of uh, pairs and bonding or pairs of electrons but here as these are on the terminal side of the molecule I don't think that it would affect the shape of the molecule. Now if you look at this molecule in its 3D shape you can see that all these molecules all these atoms in the molecule are arranged in, this, in a single plane and the geometry is linear right but you have to confirm it using AXN notation and to find out the AXN notation you should know what it stands for. A stands for the central atom, X is the number of uh, atoms forming bonds to central atom and N is the number of lone pairs on the central atom. Here we have carbon as a central atom and hydrogen and nitrogen are forming bonds with it. So we have two atoms over here and there are no uh, lone pairs of electrons on the central atom. Hence the AXN notation for HCN molecule is AX2. And if you refer to this table, it says that molecules that have AX2 formula are linear in shape. And hence, the molecular geometry of HCN molecule is linear. And the bond angles are 180 because they are all in the straight line and in the, the same plane. I hope this video helps you to understand the molecular geometry of HCN molecule. For more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.